Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chandler, and today we're playing another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. As you can clearly tell is by what's on screen at the moment, and by the title of the video. So today we're playing episode 3, so hopefully, you know, we get some more further progression. Uh, I'm going to be recording a lot because I got a couple days off work, so I'm going to be recording a lot of my videos in the next couple days. So I'm wearing the exact same clothes. Don't worry about it. So, yeah, today we're going to just jump right back in. Where we left off last time. Last time we read Yuri's poem. Today we are going to be reading Natsuki's. And then probably the other two as well. Alright, let's get started. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. And that's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough. Wait, wrong voice. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? See, she's she's pumpkin spice. That's how pumpkin spice girls act. You say the truth, you're gonna get smacked. It's just how it works. I'll pass. <sighs> Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine, and how that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. But... Is that all of it? I guess that's it. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. I enjoyed it. It's nice and easy. And the whole part about people can try it, that shows that it's got depth. Not much, but a little bit. Enough to make her cute still. Why are you so con why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. Seriously, girl, I totally understand. Oh god, it's starting to take over. The pumpkin spice! No! I will fight the pumpkin spice. I will fight it. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make you... Your, blah, 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 blah. your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. So that's the people can try part. Because listen, all the things that all the animals can do, and then all we can do is try. I can like it. I'm, I'm into it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it all, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Look at that smirk. She's so fucking cute. Look at that. She's so fucking cute. How can anybody not love her? Even if she is a total bitch. Nani? She's so cute. Ah, uh, I like Natsuki. She's not best girl, but she's she's pushing the ranks. She's pushing the ranks. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. <laughs> I just can't get past her fucking facial expressions, man. I love it. Holy shit. I love this girl. She might just be second best girl. So go see Uri, Natsuki, Monica, then Yuri. I don't know, Monica might change that with her phone, but for right now, new, be new second best. I don't know why, I think it's literally just her facial expressions. I could probably do a whole video just of her facial expressions close up. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Wow, my voice cracked like a motherfucker there. <laughs> yeah, guess not. I decided to, hum to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. See? 
See, Chandler knows what's going on. He's a good guy. Oh shit, that was it. <laughs> I thought it'd take longer. Yeah, I think Nazi's taking Monica's place as second best girl. Well, let's go with Monica. Hi, Chandler. Wait, what voice is that? I'll just give her generic girl voice for now, and then if something changes, I'll change it. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. What are you talking about? Of course I'll be terrified. You're beautiful. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> so, that was weird how I did that. I like that though. That, was, that kind of matched. Don't worry, Chandler. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes you think of something Sarah would like. It's probably because I wrote it for Best Girl. So, yeah. Who knows? Why? Why? That, that might be because we're best friends. Who, I mean, who can say, really? Is that so? You and Sarah are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Oh, uh, well, you hit the moneymaker, sweetheart. You're exactly right. I wrote it just for my girl. We may be good friends, but Siri and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, uh, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like you two really care for care about each other's well. <laughs> sounds like you two really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of so I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? It's, I mean, it's just a poem. My first poem. It's kind of garbage. <laughs> it could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Siri's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things, too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, teach their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. Are you actually a dude? Is Monica a dude? Is her real name Mark? I wouldn't put it past him. She wants to experiment a little? Like with homosexuality? I'd be okay with it. I mean, damn. If you a dude, I already like guys. But, damn. Mm hmm. Anyway, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find out what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Yes, let's. Holy Jesus. Oh, uh, my lighting. Thank you, lighting, for fucking me up. Right. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that... Uh, see the direction the sparkle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. 
No, I, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun, but it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So just to clarify, you were looking out. He was looking in. And he is... Me? Or did something way darker happen? That we just haven't gotten into yet. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. Hmm. First thing my mind goes to, just from anime in general, and because I know this is going to have a freaky twist to it in the end, I don't know what it is, but I know it's got a freaky twist to it. Maybe Monica was abused by an ex-boyfriend? Maybe? I mean, this would definitely justify that. Or, it would definitely justify my hypothesis, but... Maybe? Like, she's got, like, kind of a PTSD thing going on. Or maybe I'm just reading way too much into it. I don't know. Probably that one. But I guess we'll find out as later episodes go on. But whatever. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Let me just fix my lighting. Uh, let's see. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something done on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen on the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. Go with the flow. Monica's definitely a dude. She's definitely 100% a dude. That's the twist everybody's been talking about. Secret revealed. Monica has a penis. Does she have a penis? The world may never know because this is not an arrow game. But, we can all assume, and yes, we are assuming her gender here. This is for all you people who are going to get triggered. You know, trigger warning. I'm pretty sure she has a penis. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Bye. And now, for my B, my girl, my number one, Sayori. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Chandler. Huh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overacting. I mean, I did write it for you, my love. It's all for you, Damien. I mean, Sayori. Sorry. I'm not, good. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of the other people. So, you know? So when I read your poem... It's not just a poem. It's a Chandler poem. I just gotta give it a freeze frame. I don't know why. <laughs> and that makes it extra special. 
Like, I can feel your feelings in it. I can feel your feelings. Grammatically, it's correct. Verbally, not so much. Ziri hugs the sheet against her chest. Against those big, growing boobies. You're so weird, Sari. <laughs> Ugh, that sounded gross. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Okay, we'll keep that part out. Alright, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Chandler. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? At all, at all. Let me direct my Irish. You're not selfish at all. At all. You know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. She called me a good person. I've never been called a good person before. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Wait, yeah. did I just say my motive? What is my motive? I have a motive? Is my motive to fuck all the girls? In goal, harem route. Oh my god, is there a harem route? Is that a thing I can do? Oh. Just makes me want to keep playing. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Lighting. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to are you trusting me to wish away the rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Okay, so before that last line. I think She's fucking twisted, dude. Like, it's, like, a little bit, like, messed up. I could sleep forever if it wasn't for you. I mean, on one hand, she could be talking about me because, you know, I make sure she goes to school and gets out of bed and everything. I feel like I'm reading way too much into these. But regardless, I mean... And then she tried to throw it off by saying I want breakfast at the end. I don't know why I'm getting a bad feeling. I think she might be talking about me. I mean, it would make sense. Because, dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. That, probably not. But making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Maybe? But the part that really got me was, first of all, the I trust you too. And if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. Those two things right there are making me think that she's talking about me. And not the sun. And if it is, then damn, you're a good so fucking poem reader. Poem writer, whatever. If not, I mean, it's still a pretty good poem, I guess. But whatever. Also, ignore the thing in the background. It's Netflix. Changing the picture. So ignore the weird lighting in the background. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. D just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to yes or no questions, Sayori. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least make... Well, that at least makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. 
Um, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. I love Sari. I love her so much. She's so dipped. She's like... She's so... What's the word? Dim, I guess. <laughs> like, she's so simple-minded. Even though you relate to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. It's bad to skip breakfast. It's bad. I fucking love these, this art, man. It's so fucking great. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Um, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever! Yeah! I don't know why I keep doing that. Like, I'm expecting a freeze room to happen. I know I'm not gonna edit one in. So I don't know why I keep doing it. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Whew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Except maybe a series. And Natsuki's. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. <sighs> Oh shit, that actually would be on. Oh fuck. <laughs> that and the fact that it's 12.30 in the morning... Probably doesn't help. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sarah and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Why am I the only one that did it one at a time? That's kind of fucked. And why do I get to read my own poem? I want to see my fucking poem. It's because they couldn't generate enough poems for all those choices. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure it would be different for each one. And that would be a lot of processing power for a visual novel. Now if it was like an actual gal game, maybe. But not for a visual novel. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Wait. Pumpkin spice. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of, of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. I feel like I just have to do that head cock thing whenever I do this. Every time I do this voice, I just have to like engulf myself in the character of Pumpkin Spice. Sayori so liked it. And Chandler did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Chandler liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh fuck, Yuri, what the hell, man? Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh? This music, though? <laughs> What the fuck? That's not what I... Uh, yo, can you guys hear this fucking music? Listen to this for a second. Like, forget about me for a minute.
Okay, you know I had to. You know I had to. Alright, that was... That's fucking cool, though. I like the music change. Uh, you're, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Chandler appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Mm-hmm. You tell him, Yuri. Huh. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh! Man, this is about to start a fucking cat fight over a poem, oh, man. Oh, fuck. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Chandler started showing up. You know, now that you mention it, they did grow. N Natsuki! That, see, that time because she was flustered, it went back up. See, I'm, I'm learning about this whole voicing thing. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Oh, wait. What should I do for both of them? This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Oh, hell. Chandler. She She's just making trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Let me explain that to her, Chandler. W wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only, is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Chandler? Um... Well? Uh... How did I get tracked into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably think I'm more highly of me. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, so we have... Three things we can choose here. And just to be safe, I'm going to save right here. Just in case I fuck up. And I think I'm going to leave this decision for the next video. Yeah. I'm going to leave this decision for the next episode. If you guys did enjoy this one, remember to leave a like and a comment down below telling me which one you wanted me to choose. Whether it's Natsuki, Yuri, or Help Me Sayori! But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Also, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be part of the notification squad. And know when all my new videos are coming out. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video.